Hey everyone, welcome back to my another new video. I hope you all are doing really good. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is a Dell Inspiron 15 motherboard. And this motherboard problem is it's not charged the battery. I mean charging problem. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, let me show the problem first. Let's connect the BDS cable and uh, this is a new battery just connect this battery plugged in let's turn on So, as you can see, as soon as I uh, turn on this laptop, this laptop give a message, this battery charging is temporarily disabled. So now I will try to fix this problem. So in this condition, uh, first you, ne you need to check this uh, battery connector point. So this two line, this two line you need to check. One is uh, ground, one is positive. So this is ground line, this is positive line. So uh, first I will uh, set my multimeter in beep modes then I will check like this as you can hear the beeps and other side same that means this battery line is short to ground this battery uh, positive line fully short to ground so I need to uh, find out which parts short to ground so in this condition uh, this capacitor as you can see here two capacitor and uh, other side also one capacitor and this two MOSFET can be short so how I will find out this short component there is a two way one I can inject voltage from my power supply to a positive line then I need to uh, find out which parts is getting hot I just uh, re uh, remove or replace board is ok before inject voltage from my power supply I will visual inspection under my microscope if I found anything wrong if I found anything problem so let's find out so let's it start from this two capacitor so this looks good so let's flip the board okay as you can see this crack that means this capacitor is fully short to ground so simply I just remove this capacitor so if you want to if you want to fix this motherboard so you can use a, a tweezer or screwdriver then just break it that's it your board is ready now that's it so let's check here so as you can see no more bits so let's take this Connect the battery and uh, plug it in. Let's turn on. It's turning on. Okay. It's give me 
RF to warning, I mean charger warning, okay. And as you can see, there is no charging error message. So it's done. And now it's turn on with battery. So that's it. Very simple, very easy. Anyone can fix this kind of problem. So thanks for watching this video.